head, neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring, but six rings and we rise, wipe the sleep out of our eyes. Your shaving razor's cold and it stings. Doom, 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 doom. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. And oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Woo! I totally love that song. Come on, you guys. It's It's been recorded by two really... There's two really famous recordings of it. I have my favorite, which is by a female artist. Anyway, who did that one and which one do you know? Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Okay, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy and today you've landed on bonus haul, bonus haul, bonus, bonus, Dollar Tree haul. Yes. Um, so if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm seriously hope that you will find this fun and entertaining and decide to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and make sure you hit the all one so you get all my uploads. If you wanna know what's going on here, just click down below to the description box because I do four uploads every week, although today's a bonus upload, and you can see what they're all about. But my public announcement is everything at this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Even even the supplies I need for the crafts and the DIYs and the upscales that I do all come from the Dollar Tree because everything there is a dollar, people, a dollar. All right, so how did I come to that song? Because the very first thing, I'm walking up to do my video and I look down and I see this little number, Dreamer, and it took me right to Daydream Believer Renda. Anyway, that's how I got there. So let's dive in. This is a bonus Dollar Tree haul. What? I love these. They're my favorites. And I do huge hauls. I do pretty sure the largest hauls you're going to find on Dollar Tree. Every, I mean, on Dollar Tree. On YouTube every week. They're Dollar Tree hauls. But you're going to find them on YouTube. Anyway, they're large. So I found these super cute, super adorable makeup bags. But I mean, are they really even a makeup bag? I feel like this would be a good like beach bag. You know, throw your suntan lotion in it. They're so cute. They're so vibrant. I don't did not find any other styles, This just these two, but they're so adorable. I love the bright summery colors, and um, yeah. I mean, they feel like they would even be waterproof. Like, I should have checked that. See, because it's that scuba diving material, kind of. I don't know how to explain it other than that, but I love these. I think they're absolutely adorable. So, that's what got me to the song, and since we're on that, makeup bags, how about we which is what they, they don't call, yeah, they do. They call them a cosmetic bag. Sorry, just checking. I'm going to do the very first thing is show you an incredible buy that I found at the Dollar Tree this week. And I was like, what? Anyway, it's more makeup. I'm going to have to start wearing more makeup because I've bought so much makeup. Um, and it is by Wet n Wild, which Wet n Wild, come on, you guys. Wet n Wild, you find at every drugstore, Walmart, Target, I mean, you're gonna find white and wet and wild everywhere, but now, guess where I found it? At DT, man, at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> anyway, so I bought all their cosmetic brushes that I found there. But what I wanna show you is, I'm just gonna show you one item that I looked up for wet and wild so you would understand what a great buy this is. And I got quite a few items. Let me get to my photographs. Boom, boom, boom. Where are those? So I can show you. I have a couple of really amazing buys to show you guys today. Okay, so Wet n Wild, I looked up one, and it was their um, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick Berry right there. See that, $5.49? Liquid Cat Stick right there. $5.49 at, where was that at? This is at CB, oh, Walgreens, Walgreens. And um, I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But I didn't just get this. Okay, so I got the brushes. Let me just show you everything I got. First, let's go to the lipsticks. So this is Wet n Wild. This is called Cat Suit. It's their, sh oh, this isn't lipstick. This is eyeshadow. This is their Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow. Look at how beautiful that color is, you guys. Can you, I hope you can see it. Oh, it's really not staying blurry. I don't know, anyway. Um, so, and this is called, what is this called? 
cashmere love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cashmere love. And then these two lipsticks, which um, are the cats. This one is mega. Ugh. I cannot read this stuff, you guys. It's so small. Mega Last, Wet n Wild, limited edition, by the way. And this is Witch and Famous. And this one is called, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? It's like covered up or something. Mm. Can't see what this one. Oh, right here. This one is called Video Vixen. I'm going to have to try that one, huh? Anyway, look at that. A dollar. Okay, but it doesn't stop there. I mean, let's just keep going. I also found the Instant Flawless Complexion. This is a crayon a, a, a conceal highlighting and concealing pen. Let me just do it that way, all right? How about their Loose Highlighting Powder? Oh, how about their Stick Foundation? Or their Celebrity Concealer? They're intuitive blend. I love these, they're intuitive. Intuitive makeup. Okay, so how intuitive are you? I would like to look, I don't know, maybe 40? Can we, are you intuitive enough to know that? So when I put you on, I guess no. Okay, and then, and then I got their pearlescent pink, and this is like their rouge or, you know, their blush. This one broke, I'm so upset. I think it's like a bronzer, it's a blush bronzer, but I know how to fix this, so I'll fix it. And and then I love the colors in this. I'm loving the blues, their eyeshadow. And then this is their coverall pressed powder. I'm like, you guys, I, I could go and do my entire face right now, except I don't have mascara. I did not find mascara, um, but I did find gel lip liners. Yeah, a dollar. Dollar people, a dollar. So that was an incredible find. I mean, just, I know the lipsticks were like five sixty nine. dollars the, the brushes weren't so much. I think they were like $1.49 or something when I look them up. But you know the foundations and all those, some of those are higher. Anyway, I literally probably saved myself $50 or more on makeup. So I don't know. It's goodbye. So watch out for Wet n Wild. Have no idea why it's there. I don't know. I have no idea. So I can't help you. I can't tell you why. All right, I picked up a few things in gardening. One of which is this, these two hooks here. So I have some ideas for a DIY with these. Um, and, but I have to, I don't know how pliable they are. Like how easy will they be to bend? And I mean, I guess they're not going to be super easy, so it may not work, but I'm always trying. And one of their, um, welcome here. So I purchased this because I want to do a sign. I have a welcome sign. I've told you guys about this before. I want a magnet, um, each season on the O. And so this is going to be my O for one of the seasons. So for like in the late summer, fall harvest season. All right. They have these wind chimes out right now in their spring. Let's see all that bamboo in there. I actually want the bamboo to do some DIYs with. Um, and so I purchased a couple of them to see if it's going to work for what I want. So we'll see. But there's so many things you could do with bamboo. Even right now at Easter, I could take some of these and make a really pretty cross and jute twine the center of it. And it would be a really rustic, really gorgeous um, piece for decor. So there's so many things you can do with bamboo. And so far, this is the only way I can find it at the Dollar Tree is in their bamboo wind chime. So I picked up a few of those. Let's move on to party section. In party section, I found this pack of napkins. And I liked it so much. I'm like, I so, look at that. Like in the background, it's like a map. It looks like a map of France. And I thought this would be so cool to do on the background of a shabby chic like frame thing. So some, I picked up a bunch of the frames that were elongated. They said like bless, no, they said this, this is us, but it was this is us, but it was all in one word, this is us. And I have some ideas to do some like shabby chic things with some of their metallic and really cool stickers. And this would be a perfect background for that. Um, and also all the wine things. There's so many wine, cool wine things. Anyway. They're cool napkins, but I want to use them for DIY. <laughs> In the party supply, supplies, I also picked up We Love Mermaids. Um, I have a little girl that I think we're going to do a joint birthday party. 
It's going to be a pool party and we're going to be mermaids. And I was like, oh, I might as well pick this up just to decorate outside with. Now this, I mean, I've never seen this before. So the grad stuff must be coming out right now. Hold on. My Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree headband was slipping a little bit. This is Dollar Tree. Love my Dollar Tree headband. Um, the grad stuff must be coming out slowly but surely because I just found this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. They're blow up grad frames. So, um... I can't open them up because I'm giving them to my grandson because he graduates. But you can sort of see in there, right? And it says that it's um, inflatable, or does it say reversible two-in-one graduation frame? So I guess it's just one, and both sides are, it says congrats, grad, congratulations, grad. So I guess it's one frame. I don't know. I have to open it. I'm just going to have to open it. There's no getting around it. I'll just put it back in there. Or I'll just, I'll put it in something else, like a graduation basket or something. It won't be in the packaging. It's not that great of packaging anyway. Okay, so check. Oh my gosh, it's better than I thought it was. It's a, it's a blow, it's like this. It's a, I didn't get that. I thought it was like a blow up picture frame. It's a blow up photo op frame. What? I love this. This is gonna be so much fun. So glad I opened that. How did I not get that from the packaging, you guys? Because tell me, doesn't that look like it's just a picture frame? Okay, well, anyway, it's not. And it's reversible. So blow it up. Oh, my gosh, that's so fun. This is the kind of stuff I love to do. I'll be walking around like, hey, let's take a selfie. Let's do, you know, with him. and Anyway, okay. That's going to be fun. I can't wait. Let's just go on to, like, housewares kind of stuff. Um... So in the wall art, Main Street wall art, I picked this up. I did a really cool DIY with this, um, like when I first started doing videos, but I, and I really like it, but I wanna do another one. And so I picked another one of these up. I, this one says, hello world. So again, that feels, that screams so shabby chic to me. And they have these incredibly beautiful rose picks that I got some of. And so because of the size of this, I'm thinking it would make a really cool piece of wall art. And so I picked it up for that. And these are just beautiful. So this is, this is for tear tray. I totally got this for tear tray. <laughs> like just to make a little frame one, or I have some little glass bowls and just to Put these on the bottom of a glass bowl so it looks like it's full of lettuce for a tear tray. So many ideas. I just, and I think these are just really beautiful. But you know, they show them like on a wall. And I'm not going to do that with them. I don't know that I understand that on a wall. I Yeah, I don't know. Is this lettuce or is it? Because it looks like lettuce to me. But it's probably not. It's probably some plant. Because the rest of them are like plants. I don't, I don't know. I just know what I see it as, and then that's how I'm gonna use it. That's how I do everything. Um, so they had some random thing that I've never seen there before. Technically, this is in housewares. It was kind of in the man's aisle, the tool aisle, but it's, um, well, it is by tool bench, so I guess that would make sense. So not really pulling it out in the right thing, but I purchased this for DIY purposing, maybe. It's super shiny. This is one of their faux wall splash things, you know? Um, show yeah there's like a faux wall splash but this one's pretty bad it's pretty cheesy can you see how shiny that is and plastic looking it is but i was wondering if i used it in a shadow box form would that drop the shininess enough to be able to use it or if i just rubbed this with some chalk paint and just tried to bring down that shininess. So I'm gonna do some experimenting with it. I only purchased one because I was so unclear if it would work or not. So I'm gonna do some experimenting. If it does work, it's gonna be really cool because it's faux, it's faux wood planking. And if we can get it to look a little more realistic, you know, I don't know. Okay, let's go back to housewares because that's where I was in. Um, I just found some fun stuff, as I always do. This is a storage bin. But what I wanted to show you guys was the coloring on this storage bin, which I really like. You know, why can't they make these easier to open sometimes? Uh, or why don't I just open them before I get you in? Because I want to show you guys what it looks like in the packaging. Okay. So this is, there's nothing specifically grand about this one except the coloring. All right. 
So it's not those cheesy browns, which are so not in right now. It's really a contemporary color in that gray. Notice it's kind of see-through though, so be careful what you store in it. But I just think it's, I love these. I'm gonna use them all over. I think they're great in a closet, for instance. Um, but I just, the color was what I really wanted to show you. It's a very light gray, so I like it. I did only get one because at this point where I'm sitting in the house decorating, it's like, I don't wanna have seven of them if I'm not gonna use them. But I knew I would at least use one. Okay, I found some cute magnets. And um, the magnets are fabulous for tear trays. For all you people out there doing tear trays, magnets are amazing because they're like a miniature sign. So this one, I love this. Cats make me happy. Um, and I love the colors on it. So that one, this is so farmhouse. Welcome to the homestead. Um, but can't you just see putting this in a little, on top of a little picture frame, they have those, I can reach it, hold. This is like a really good idea for a tear tray. So they have these really, I love these frames. They're so farmhouse country looking. Look at that. So I can actually glue that to it inside there. Now I have it on a stand for my tear tray. I could add a little ribbon, a little, one of the farmhouse ribbons on it. So it'd be super cute. That's just a really, those are, they're just perfect for tear trays. And the last one I got was Love Served Up Family Style because I want to do that whole kitchen tear tray one and um, because it says Served Up Family Style, I thought that would be really great with that. Okay, let's go into some of the like art pieces that they had. <laughs> Is it art? I don't know. Anyway, these two little numbers, which are, they're cute. They're very childish, but they're perfect for a little girl's room or just as a little, I don't know. Um, everybody's going to buy these to DIY them because they're like little miniature shadow boxes. I have no idea what I'm going to do with mine. But if I did DIY them, um, I'm going to say, be honest, I would try and leave the background color and the color of the frame because it's so perfect. Even if I change the background color, this white everybody's painting all these things white and these come white. So if you're gonna DIY, these are great to DIY with and you could buy multiples and stack them. And actually if I'd gotten four, it would have made a great little miniature window, but you get what I'm saying. So um, I'm probably not gonna DIY them. I'm probably gonna give them to somebody. Wash, brush, and flush. I like this one. I'm gonna open it just cause I'm, I don't know. So every once in a while they'll do one and I'm like, I kind of like it just the way it is. I love the colors on this. I, I do love these colors. And so I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I'm putting it up in some place in the bathroom that's kind of up, not really hanging it, putting it on a shelf and it's perfectly fine. Some of their pieces I think are really good depending upon where you're using them. So for me, this is really good because it's gonna be up sort of high. It's not like anybody's gonna be looking at it going, that's fake. Um, because from a distance, anyway, I like this one. Maybe there's something wrong with me. I'm not sure. But these I really like. Mm. There's four of them. That's all I found. So this one is Do Your Thing. It has a gold frame, white with the black. So it's super simplistic. I love it. This one is If Not Now When. By the way, the sizes on these are really interesting. They're not the square, right? And because they're gold, everybody's gonna buy them and use them up at Christmas time. They're gonna make great for DIYs. I'm not DIYing these. I love these the way they are. So every moment matters. And then this one is enjoy the little things. These I think are beautiful. It's just a beautiful set to hang on a wall. Not, you know, not perfectly symmetrical. I never hang anything symmetrical. I just think they'll be really pretty. In an office, I think these would look really cool. In a very, um, very monotone bathroom perhaps, but just, I like them just the way they are. And I think the fonts that they chose are really good, really good. Now, if you want to DIY, let me just say this. If you want to DIY, I'm gonna open this one up just to show you guys. These are so good for DIY because you can take that inside part with the great font. It's got a great font. It's on like, um, it's on like a, uh, like a press board, like cardboard almost. So you could get this out of here and now you can use this on something else um, in the center of a wreath or something like that or frame it in a different frame. 
with a border of some paper around it or something. And then you would just have the gold frame, which is gonna be so perfect for East, uh, Christmas. Also, you can just flip it around this way, remove the sawtooth, and you've got a nice, okay. I probably went on too long about that too. Just trying to give you guys some ideas. Then I found some more canvases. Mm -hmm. If you watch my hauls, do you remember I hauled, which I'm probably gonna do this um, DIY next week. I hauled the, it was the coasters that are very similar to this print. And then I hauled the things that had the tiles in them and I'm gonna make a tray, but this matches it. And I was like, ooh, I want this because I may not leave this as a canvas, but I thought if I could remove this from the, the obviously I can remove the canvas. And if I could somehow attach this around a vase, and then put it with that platter. Do you know how incredibly beautiful that would be? So I could really literally take a piece, make it a, a you know, piece of glass or make it a piece of art that would match that tray. And that's what I'm hoping to do. And that's what I purchased this for. I'm in love. Come on. It's so stinking cute. It's an elephant number one, which I collect those. So I had to get it, it's an elephant. I mean, you rarely see things with elephants at the Dollar Tree. So I purchased this for my own bathroom. Yeah. I also love this one. I love this one. I love the fonts that they chose. I love the coloring that they have on this ship lap. I love everything about it. Probably not gonna do anything to it, um, I don't think. And I just think it's a really beautiful piece. They are doing some really good canvases. I also love this one. Remember I showed you my cow last week? I think I'm just gonna have like this little collection of cow things next to my cow. Isn't he cute? I don't know, he, she, isn't she cute? Okay. I've seen these at the Dollar Tree for a long time now. And then the other day I looked at it and I was like, I'm so ready, I'm gonna do it. I love this. So what I wanna do is make a little miniature beehive to put on top of this. You just do it with rope, it's super easy to do. And then put a tea light in here and I think it'd be really cute decor piece for the top of a tear tray. And then find, um, I might even paint the bees on here. I mean, even get out some paint and paint those. But it's just, this is a really sweet piece. I'm, it's a wax melt, you know, you put your votive in there and then your wax melt. I rarely do wax melts, so, but I thought, oh, it'd be so cute to make it a little, um, put a little beehive on top of it. Okay, mm -hmm. there's that. Oh my gosh, these are so cool and I've never seen them before. I just like, I just don't even know. Okay, but I'm gonna show you. So these are approx, these are like large, like a coaster size. Well, you might wanna see it the right way, like a coaster size. So it's a wreath charm is what they're calling it, a wreath charm. So it has a hole in it, right? And then they they have wire on the back of it. So it's a charm for a wreath. Brilliant. I mean, maybe they've made these before somewhere. I've never seen them before. So they have Choose Happy, so springy too. Look at this one, which I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm gonna show you guys something. And look at this one. I love the colors. I'm loving everything about them. Look at this. Yes. I mean, wreath charms. I think my phone's gonna die again, so I wanna plug us in while we're sitting here. Wreath charms, I love those. I think they're incredibly beautiful. But what I wanna show you is this one. So it's calling it a wreath charm. I found in, in, um, in the craft department, but they're calling it floral garden department because it's always right there together. These, these are butterfly die cuts. Can you see all the stunning colors in these? I mean, like seriously people, how gorgeous. So let's see, this one, see that? I think that's really pretty. Um, can you imagine if I just took and made a greenery wreath and then took my little die cuts here? And what I love about these is, God, there's so many in here too. How many are in here? 33, 33 butterflies in each package. So take one of these, which by the way, I can two dimension, I can do them back to back. Let me get another one. That's like this one. Okay. So I can take two of the same back to back. I'm going to take my glue stick and glue those together. And then you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put something in the center just so I can do it actually perfectly. And I'm just gonna fold. And now I have, forget that it would be all together. Now I have these butterflies that I can put all over a wreath with this charm. It'd be super beautiful. I'm gonna have to do that. Huh? So these, oh, these are so incredibly beautiful. And I think I already had hauled one that was more green. Um, so this is like the purple, sort of the pinks. And then look at these blues. Are those to die for? And they're all different sizes. So I think the, I think this is, I think like the smallest. Si oh no, they're smaller ones. Look at this size. Look at those little numbers. And then like, this is like the largest size. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, I think they're stunning. So just to do a wreath just covered in butterflies. Like I said, back to back, put a little bend in the center. And there's so many things that we could use these on. I mean, even, it's gonna sound a little crazy, but see the gold in this and just to put a butterfly on it. Mm-hmm, it looks really cute actually. Not a bad idea. Okay, so there's some more ideas for you. Found this one, one peel and stick, but I love it. Stand tall, wear a crown. It's so cute. It's so cute. So it's a foil peel and stick, all right? So where are you gonna use this on? I mean, I'm not really sure what I would use it on, but I like it. I think it's very summery and fun. So I, I only found one, picked it up. Speaking of summer and fun. So this, it lights up. A little light up. I wish I could put this back in now. Oh, I can. Hey, good to know. Um, this is for my tear tray, that kitchen tear tray that I want to do. It's super cute because I'm looking for miniatures to put on that. And so I purchased this for that. And I just think it's going to be really cute when I get to that. Am I done with crafts? Oh, I was in housewares, right? I mean, um, home decor. So this is, I might feel like I'm losing it. This was a random piece that I found, but I got to say, this is one of the better ones I've seen. So mermaids take selfies and out back when this is all done, I thought this would be really cute to hang up for a little selfie spot. You know, people taking selfies outside or to give to the little girl who were having that mermaid theme thing. I'm not sure yet, but it was super cute. Um, I'm not unhappy with it just the way it is. And I know all kinds of DIYers are going to buy it for the shape of the sign. Fine. Okay. Have fun. Um, you know me, I prefer to do DIYs that are easy. I don't want to deconstruct a thousand things and repaint. So I, I can see where they get their ideas. It's just really not normally where I head. I do like to take things that they already have and enhance them. But I do kind of like this. It would be really fun to put some additional three-dimensional seashells on here. It would look really cute, which I just bought a bunch of seashells there. Seashells there. So I, kinda, I really like that piece. I think we should just go right to crafts because I sort of already went there with the butterflies. Um, one of these don't hide, cloche, how do you say them? Clo cloche, 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 it's cloche, right? Yeah, I can't remember how you say it. Anyway, it's a dome. Um, and I'm really thinking maybe doing a little miniature fairy garden thing in there. So I'm not exactly sure yet, but, because what happens is I buy these things, look at them, and then suddenly I'll be like, oh, ooh, Ooh, I have that, I can use it for this. Okay. So this is um, sea glass, which I love sea glass, and summer is coming, so I wanted some sea glass to do some DIYs for my backyard with. In retrospect, I was like, I should have bought like a ton of them, because I could have done a really cool, large um, sea glass thing with, uh, the idea is I would take a frame and uh, grid it with like wire, so wire grid it, and then with some really strong glue, glue sea glass all in it. And then it would the sun would shine through it. it wouldn't be stained glass, but it would sort of be a, a twist on a stained glass piece. So I I'm, I'm, will probably do that at some point, but I didn't buy enough to do that right now. I did purchase some more foam balls and that's only because I would like to do a topiary. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Oh, and also some of their crushed glass. Now, I only found the light green and the darker green. I'm hoping I'll find some more colors in this. I would like to do a base that I layer them. So if I could find more colors, I would do layer one color, then the next color, then the next color, and then the next color. But I would do it in a large vase and a smaller vase inside. So the layering would go around 
the smaller vase inside and then drop a votive in. I hope that makes sense, you guys. I say these things and I'm like, do they understand what I'm saying? So it's like a bigger glass, smaller glass, and I put the smaller glass in, but then I would layer the, the rocks around the, okay, and then, all right, I think we got it, right? I hope so. Some amazing um, decorative filler with this looks so Christmas. Not sure why it's out now. Sometimes I wonder, like, did something not ship when it was supposed to ship? And then we did have COVID, and did that screw up a bunch of things? Because, you guys, this doesn't have a Christmas label on it. But tell me that you see this for anything other than Christmas. I mean, I could pick some things out of there. Like, the little, the little greenery there is great. I love it. Even the off-white. But um, there's nothing in here that isn't screaming Christmas. Nothing. Speaking of Christmas, yeah, I just purchased these for Christmas trees. Just because at Christmas time, I would never be able to find them because everybody would be buying them for Christmas trees, and I want them for Christmas trees, so I got those. All right. And the final thing in crafts is this amazing ribbon, which I wish I'd found it earlier because I would have used it in Easter crafts. How cute would that be on an egg? And then they had the pearl strips like this, and they had it in a few different colors. I just wanted it in the white, so I... So I only got it in the white. Okay, I think I only have one toy. No, I have two toys. I have two toys. One is this. Hold on. It's extend. It's an extend -a net. What? Okay. So because we go camping all the time, this I really did get for camping purposes when we take the grandkids camping, so that they can go butterfly hunting or whatever. It's a butterfly net. I did get the lime green so that I would be able to see it and know where it's at <laughs> when I put it away. Um, and it's a dollar and it's an extended thing. And guess what? When the, this breaks, I'm still gonna have this really cool thing that I would be able to make a garden thing out of with my hoop and stick it in the ground. I'm always repurposing. If it breaks, it breaks. I have another idea for it. Um, and the only other thing I got in toys was this, which I think this is so funny. 20 count fantasy figures. I was gonna say figurines, fantasy figures. Now take a look in there. We got a little mermaid, we got a princess, we've got a flower. This looks like a, um, a tulip flower. There's another princess in there. Do you know what these are for? Totally gonna use these in my, there's like, a, there's like flowers that look like fountains. Anyway, I'm gonna use them in my fairy garden stuff. Why am I doing this? Why don't I just open it? I don't know, Amy. Use your brain. Okay. Let's look at what they have in here because I really think these are cool. Okay. And I've never seen them there before. I hope, I don't even know if I got everything. Look, at, there's a little princess. They almost look like they glow. I don't think they do. Um, there's a little mermaid. And then there's just, look at this fairy. And they come in different colors. So, because there's the mermaid in pink. Um, and then they have a blue. Okay, so the colors that they have in these are pink, blue, purple, and the green. Those are the colors, and it seems to be like there's four or five different, um, yeah, three, four, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought super cute for a fairy garden just because they're so small and petite. So in a fairy garden, this would look like it's a statue in the garden. Do you see where I'm going? So... Not that there's a mermaid, it's a statue. I could even paint it with some chalk paint and, although I didn't have white chalk paint, they haven't sold it yet at the Dollar Tree. When they do though, I will. Okay, so just stuff to send off to grandkids, just some fun stuff. This is 250 stickers. It's a lot of stickers in here. So I'm doing pocket letters and I thought, oh, this is so perfect because I can just take it page by page and throw a page into her pocket letters. They're just super adorable. I mean, they're small and adorable. Look at the little pirate ship, which, yeah. Um, so cute. I wish I could get a whole book of those pirate ships. Anyway, so a dollar, a sticker book, 250 plus stickers. Um, I love these little notepads with the pens. I hadn't seen this style before. Also for the pocket letters, it comes with a cute little zip thing. You can put it in your notebook and there is a mini notebook, which is this. There's two sticky pads and then a gel pen. 
So how fun is that? Um, and also for the pocket letters, this is because her name is Scarlett. So an S and it's got, I have loved you with an everlasting love, Jeremiah 31, three. So a little Bible verse. I'm wondering if each page has a different Bible verse. I can't really see that. Maybe. Tell me if you know, do these have a different Bible verse on every page? Then I found her this, which I think this is the cutest thing in the whole wide world. It's a swivel mirror. So it goes on the back of your phone and then it swivels open and there's a mirror. So I'm gonna put this in her pocket, no, her pocket letter, because like this is small enough to fit in one of the pockets as a little gift. Isn't that cute though? It swivels and there's a mirror. And she's, she's a teenager, so you know, that's like, ugh, yeah. Also for the pocket letter were these, which I, this is Jot, man, I'm loving this. This whole pack of these mini gel pens, 10 of them in these assorted colors, I'm loving that. So one of the things in the pocket letters that I'm doing is sliding in specialty pens. Um, so I'll probably take these out of the package and just like clip them all together on one of the pockets. Be super colorful, super cute. And um, also for the pocket letters, boy, I'm collecting a lot of that stuff, is this book. So they have these little gift books and it says, always find a reason to smile. And I just thought it was very teen girl looking in the graphics. And so I thought, oh, that's so cute. And then I would go through and write things. So there's always, always, always something to be thankful for. And then I would probably put a little note in here, like I am so thankful for you. I love you, you know, so much. Like I would put in little notes in here or little stickers and personalize it up before I throw it in that pocket letter. Just a super easy to do, super thoughtful thing. And you know, with grandkids, we're always trying to make them feel special. Then also there are these prayer cards. So this includes 20 prayer and scripture cards. So it looks like there's, um, can I open it? I think I can just open this. Yep, I can. So I think these are just really cool things to like, for instance, um, they don't look very masculine, but I slide things into my guy's lunch every day. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are very beautiful. First of all, one side says today's prayer, and then there's a prayer on the other side. So, and it's a Bible verse. So be joyful and hope, patient and affliction, faithful in prayer. Look at, these are very nice. Okay. Random idea. And I've done stuff like this before. So if you ever sent somebody off on vacation, they're going to be gone for a little while. I sneak things into suitcases. So how cute would it be? Seven day vacation, seven little cards, and you throw in there a, the prayer for the day for all seven days. Like each day has a prayer in it, right? Or just send one in the mail to somebody. So these are also different color scheme. This for the pocket letters. I feel like this has way more of a teenage flow feel to it. So, but these are beautiful. And there's 20 in here. If you think about that, you guys, there's 20. These are, you're spending a nickel, a nickel, a nickel to give this to somebody as just a little pick me up or I'm thinking of you, a nickel. It's pretty incredible when you think about it. Okay. Um, also in Jot, these, <laughs> it's the little mermaid, actually. I bought this for my daughter. She's gonna be here for Easter with her, her boys and she loves Little Mermaid. Now, she's probably not even gonna take it home. It's probably gonna end up staying here. But I just thought if she, if she will allow me after I give it to her, I thought maybe her and I could do a DIY and frame it and she could put it in her mermaid bathroom at home. So, um, and the other one just has the princesses. There's two in here. I think, they're, I think that's what it is. Well, let's find out. Oh my gosh, I'm right here. I think one's Little Mermaid and the other one is, yeah, yep. So this is the front of the second one. This And the back just says Disney Princesses. So, okay, there you go. Then, Paper Mate pens. And they're gel. Gel are my favorite kind of pens. So I got these for myself. For like journaling. Um, I love a gel pen and these are Paper Mate. That is so cheap. So cheap. Then there were these, like, these are the cutest thing in the whole wide world. These are stickers. Look, can you hear it? They have confetti in them. So I'm getting ready to send stuff off for Easter to the two grandkids that aren't gonna be here. So um, one of the little, the 
the little boy who just got all the Jurassic stuff, by the way, huge success when he opened his box. The one of them FaceTimed me while he's opening it. And he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my. It, was, it was perfect. And that entire box cost me $20, less than $20 for all the things that were in it. And he loved it. But anyway, since I just sent a bunch of dinosaur stuff, that this would be so cute. But then these are, well, I got two of these. One for me. And then one for the granddaughter, because this is an elephant. So stinking cute. Those are just adorable. But they, I found these. So this is called Maddie's Masterpiece. Um, I mean, it's coming in in Greenbrier label, so I don't know. Anyway, it's a secret message pen. So UV light, you write with it and then there's a light on the end of it and then you can read what you wrote. So you could leave secret messages. So what I did was I purchased one of each color um, and I thought like I would send a message off to one of the kids. So follow me here. So probably to the youngest grandson. So I'll send him off a message on a note card that he can't read and then I'll be like, open your pen and then you can read what I wrote. But then I'll send him a self-addressed stomped envelope back to me to send me a message that then only I can read when I use my pen. Hmm? You like it? So anyway, I got one of each color. I'm probably only gonna do it with the one grandson because I always try to do something special with each one of them that I'm not doing with the other ones. And I know he's gonna think that's the coolest thing in the whole wide world. And he'll fill his out and send it back to me. And then, you know, I'll have a couple of refills for pens or I'll do it with him again. So I really like that idea. Okay. Um, hey, let's go right into kitchenware stuff. So this is, I what is this? Salt or Parmesan shaker? I don't know. Nope. It's a mini beer mug. <laughs> it is a mini beer mug. So for my tear tray that's gonna be all kitchen stuff, I'm actually gonna do a foaming, like root beer float thing in this or foaming beer in it. Probably be root beer float, so I'll probably put a straw in it. Um, but so, okay, it's this, it's how they sell it. But this is how I see it. It's so cute. It's gonna be so cute on that tray. Speaking of which, then I also picked up these. Now the other day I hauled the polka dotted plastic ones for that for that tear tray. Um, but I had, and then I picked up these too because these are clear. So I'll do them both ways and see, but I just think this is gonna be a super cute little miniature milkshake or maybe even just a miniature soda in, in here I could do. I could. So the way I would do miniature soda, just FYI, is you take, um, you take uh, like acrylic paint and you just pour it and swirl it around and I would mix it probably with some Mod Podge or something. I'll have to do a little experimenting just to I get the right color. And yeah, okay. And then I would fill the top with the com the compound stuff. Well, joint stuff, whatever it is that they sell there. All right, all right, Amy, be quiet. Oh, one more toy I missed. These are glow decals and they're Avengers. So I'm sending these off to the one that just loves the Avengers. Little glow decals. I mean, this is Marvel stuff. I'm always shocked at like these name brand things. This is Marvel. So there, I don't know how many are in here. Oh, three, because there's three glow things in there. I guess that's what they are. It looks like the Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man, I think is what's in there. Yeah, I think that's, that is what's in there. See that? Anyway. Okay, I'm super excited about this one. I hope everybody can see this. So this is just a charger plate, but it's the, it's the rectangular ones. I don't see these there all the time. I saw it, I was like, there it is. But I also saw was that they're, place, when they're placemats. And I love these placemats. I think they're very chic looking. And all I wanna do, this is a totally easy Tuesday, is to cut this, put it in the bottom of it, and you have this really chic looking platter. And I'll probably take the black faux leather and put it on here and put a couple of votives in here. And it would look super high end, very cool. Are you guys seeing that? And it's just a charger. And this placemat. By the way, the texture on this is amazing too. Also, it would work really good at his background in a frame for something, or any for DIYs. So again, looking at these things, not so I'm not gonna use it as a placemat. I mean I could, but I'm not going to. Okay. Um, let's see. Ah, I'm gonna right now, health and beauty. Nerf band-aids. What? 
Yeah, Nerf Band-Aids. So I'm doing a fun thing for Easter with the grandsons. So I take Easter eggs. I don't, I don't hide Easter eggs, Easter eggs anymore, but I hide like Easter eggs with um, uh, stuff in them, toys in them or whatever. But I thought this year it might be fun to do like an Easter egg thing and throw different items like a Nerf Band-Aid in an Easter egg. And then when they find them, then have a chart that they come back to and it tells them what they want. Like it might be a dollar, it could be a $5 bill, or it might be you know, a trip to the ice cream store or something like that. Um, so they wouldn't know when they got the egg, they would just find a Nerf Band-Aid in there and then have to come back and play the game of matching it up. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, unless I run out of time, which is highly possible. Um, Crayola bath bombs in the shape of a heart. Never seen these before. So perfect for Valentine's, but I never saw them at Valentine's. But how cute. So they're super flat. flat. Bath bombs aren't normally flat. So I was like, oop, can throw this in a pocket letter because it'll fit. Um, and so I did get them for that. But if you have little girls, this is so adorable. These are so adorable. I mean, they have like a dark pink, a light pink, a red, and a purple. They're just really, these would be great in an Easter basket too, by the way. Um, I, but why, I don't know why they weren't there at Valentine's. It just seems a little odd to me. Like they're there now, but not at Valentine's. Okay. Um, really quickly. What? Okay. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Aquarius. Astrology 2021. I'm not big on astrology. However, I happened to have picked up this year at the Dollar Tree just a couple months ago was the astrology candles. Does anybody remember me hauling those? They were little candles and it's got the signs on them. And I was like, oh, mother load. Now I come, somebody's birthday comes up and they happen to be in Aries. I'm going to give them this with a little candle. Perfect little gift to give somebody that's an acquaintance or, you know, not necessarily a super good friend, but somebody that matters to you. Anyway, mm, so cool. And I found them all. So I got the whole set. I suppose I could give somebody the gift of the whole set too, right? No. Mm -mm. Anyway, I did pick up extra of mine and my guys. <laughs> I thought that would be kind of a romantic thing. Let me read about you, honey. You're a Pisces. Mm. In health. This is so funny. Health right here. Indecision and poor choices. Pisces natives resemble their symbol. Two fish looping in opposite directions. They're sometimes unsure where they're headed. And that's why they spend so much energy on developing projects. Mm, love. Oh, they're idealists and romantics. Okay. But kind of a cute date night idea, right? Get a bottle of wine, go sit in a hot tub or go to, I don't know, or go outside and watch the stars and like read to each other about your signs. I'm not saying I buy into this. It's just fun topic. It's just fun conversation stuff. So anyway... There's that. I was super excited when I found those all. And these are 2021. So these are these are new. These aren't, you know, they're, I have not seen them before. Well, it is March. I don't know. Okay, I did find a couple of books. So we're going to go really fast. This is homemade baby and toddler food. My daughter just had a baby. I'm going to visit next week. I, I'm so thankful. I don't have to ship all this stuff. I get to throw it in the car because it gets expensive. But I was gonna tell you how much this was originally, if I can get the sticker off here. Um, this was, oh, come on, it's not in there. Ah, I like it when I can see what the price was, but it's not on there, right there. Maybe it's on this side. No, it's not there either. Oh, there it is, $19.95, and I got it for a dollar, a dollar, people, a dollar. Idiot's Guide. <laughs> idiot's Guide, as easy as it gets. Idiots, these are people with children. We, I don't think we should be calling them idiots, people that have children. Well, that's all of us, isn't it? So anyway, it's just a great, it's a great book on homemade baby and toddler food. Like, that, I think that's a wonderful idea. So I purchased that for her. I, for, I didn't see where I was. Okay. Oh my gosh. We Cooking Totally Tasty Foods for Kids. So this is Lily and Audrey, the twin chefs. I have no idea who they are. Does it matter? I don't care. The, the book was $21.95. And this is, it's cooking. It's kids cooking. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so fun. So 
when they get here, I'm gonna give this to the one, one of my grandsons actually really loves to cook. And I thought, so I'm gonna stick this in his Easter basket. And then I'm gonna say, okay, now let's pick out a couple recipes. We're going to the store right now. We're gonna buy this stuff and let's cook together. So, so easy, so fun. And then I'll leave this here. You won't be able to take it home because, well, maybe if he wants to put it in his bag. But either way, um, we'll have some fun with it. Um, but just, it's like, ugh, in this book, twin chefs Lily and Audrey share their recipes for 45 amazing dishes. From red velvet pancakes to blue cheese burgers, their easy recipes and awesome tips will help you take kitchen, take the kitchen by, take the kitchen by storm. I mean, and it's actually a really beautiful book too. And you know, I love the coloring on it. I just love it. So anyway, I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, I gotta come back to that. I forgot to do that. Okay. This is so cute. This is Tape It and Make More. So this book was originally, uh, da -da -da. we don't know, because there's no price on it. It's probably on the inside. Nope, not on the inside either. Okay, I have no idea how much this was. Oh, $16.90. No, that's Canada. Sorry. Hold on, people. $14.99. This book was $14.99. $14.99. This is... This is projects that you make with duct tape. Now I am going to give this to one of the grandsons and the Dollar Tree happens to sell all kinds of duct tape. And I thought, oh my gosh, look, everyday bow tie. You can make a bow tie out of duct tape. I'm gonna get all kinds of different colors of duct tape and, um, and send it as a great gift. Um, and then I will, I'll put a little marker in there and say, Bella would like one of these so he can make me something. This is, oh my gosh, this is so, you can make a stadium cushion seat. You can make a wrist corsage. <laughs> this is so cool, 101 more duct tape activities. $14.99 and I got it for a dollar, people, a dollar. Um, Art is every day. This is such a cool book. And um, I purchased this to do with the grandkids. I'm just gonna tell you how much it is. I always forget to do this beforehand, so I'm sorry. Um, but it looks like this was $14.99, I think. And sometimes they come off really easy and sometimes they don't. So you just never know. Anyway, yeah, yeah it was $14.99. Okay, so this is Art is Everyday Activities for the Home, Park, and Museum. So this is, art isn't just what you find in a museum, a sculpture park, or a one period a week elementary school curriculum. Art is every day. The handy resource, this handy resource offers more than 65 ideas for parents, grandparents, teachers, and others who want to bring meaningful, rich, and fun art experiences into children's lives. The projects are easy to do and require only inexpensive or free materials. So, I mean, this is, for instance, it says, kids will go on a photographic scavenger hunt looking for forms and shapes. But I encourage art all the time with my kids, grandkids. Look at this. This is one of the things that I think is amazing in here because to sit down and I can explain that to them. It's in the book. And just pick out some activities that we could go do. Paper, bag, puppets, and masks. I mean, there's all kinds of... It's more of an instructional book than a visual book, just FYI. There's a chapter that says at home. Um, yeah, it just, oh, and it talks about drawing. For instance, the hand is one of the hardest things to draw. So what a great book to spend some time with my grandkids and talk about art. So drawing trees. Yeah, I. this is so up my alley. I was very happy to find that. Okay, let's just dive into the things that I have prices on. Oh my God, this is a long haul, you guys. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize how long it got. Ah, okay. So, um, let's go into photos. Um, this is a Neutrogena deep cleaning, um, hydrogel mask. Neutrogena, Neutrogena, five seventy nine. At Walmart, right? Walmart. Yep. Five seventy nine. It's a one ounce mask. One ounce mask. Five seventy nine. I'm sorry. Yeah, five seventy nine. One dollar. Dollar Tree. One dollar. Neutrogena at the Dollar Tree. Um, oh, really quickly, I did get a couple of cleaning supplies, but they do have the Clorox wipes in, um, and I like these just because of the travelability with these packages and whatnot. So just, they're there now. FYI, if you're looking for those, they are there now. And um, 
I got another Brillo product. Did I take a picture of the Brillo? I did not. Anyway, it's Brillo, but this is more than a dollar if I bought it anywhere else. Um, and I'm totally going to try this. I have a pump thing for my dish soap. and I, um, Anyway, I'm going to try this route and see if I like that better. And then Glad. Glad trash bags. I did look these up. So these are definitely a good buy by volume if I did the multiplication. So like I saved like $2 on this one and I think $2, oh, I think it was $2, no, a dollar on this one, a two, I don't remember. Anyway, it was the savings because you just did the math. So if it was a 40 count and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I couldn't find exactly these things. So I didn't take a picture because it wasn't exactly the same. It was like one was um, a, pull tie and I, anyway so and that's sometimes what happens we find it at the dollar tree because for some reason it's no longer at the regular store well that's when i'm gonna pick it up i don't care so this is febreze hawaiian aloha i love these there's seven in here it's also a bonus right two free bags and then i found the 30 gallon i was like what febreze freshness and these i bought because we go camping and i was like maybe if there's febreze in it wild animals wouldn't be as attracted when our trash is in it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. What do I know? Oh, I did look up the Glad. Dang it. Let me show you this. So 40 count was $8.99 for these. $8.99. This isn't even the Febreze one. Um, but uh, 40 for $8.99. For me to get 40, I would have to buy six times six is 36, seven of them. And I would get 42 for $7. This is $8.99. Okay. So... Yeah, it's a good buy. Um, and then this is called Sure Fresh, and it's a reusable twist and go. There's two in here, two containers and lids. Um, there's measuring on it, if you can see that there. So ready? This one is twist and store, large round food storage, can two, two count, 32. This is 34, by the way, 34 fluid ounce. This one says 32. And it is at Target. Where's the price? Turn this way. Oh, come on. Did I take a picture of it without the price? You guys are going to hate me. I did. Mm. But that's okay. I think we're still okay. Target. Because there it is. And it was $2.49. $2.49. And I got it for a dollar. Hold on. I'm trying to show you. See that? The packaging is slightly different, but it's exactly the same thing. Sure fresh. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing, different brand. $249. Wow. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Normally, I thought for sure I had the sure fresh up there. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It's a good buy. And then the final one that I looked up was. Ah, uh, where'd it go? It's in my pictures. And that is Clean Life Multi-Purpose Cleaning Cloths. And this is on Amazon, and it's $7.90 for a two-pack. Do you see that? $7.90 for a two-pack. So, same exact thing. I want to show you this. You see that? Same exact thing. $7.90, $1. I've never seen these there before. I'm super excited. They feel amazing. So I bought this one, which had the blue and the and the uh, yellow, but I don't know that there was any difference. So it doesn't tell me that there's any difference in the coloring. So I don't think there is. Maybe it's just that you get a color. Maybe that's so like you could color code, like the yellow is for the bathroom and the blue is for the kitchen or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, highly absorbent. They're machine wash in warm water and they feel amazing. So these are made with, it's textile, um, okay, approximately 50% polyester and 50% viscose. I don't know, anyway, they feel amazing. So I'm really hoping those will work. That's it. Oh my gosh, I'm at, an, I'm at an hour. I'm so sorry, this is such a long bonus haul, you guys. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I hope you enjoyed it. There was so much stuff in this haul. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget, when I get to 250, we have a $50 Dollar Tree gift card giveaway. I hope everybody has a great day, a great week, a great life. Please, if you are still here, give me an alarm clock emoji because time is up. I got 24 seconds until I hit 
one hour. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoy this video and I hope you really enjoy my hauls. And as again, again, don't forget, $250 $50 gift card giveaway. Please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, or just give me the alarm clock emoji. That will always work. You guys, thank you so much. Ready? Are you, are you ready? Because here comes the music. Wait, first, I'll see you tomorrow for Theme Thursdays. Now, here comes the music.